Okay, you're probably wondering how the heck you come up with a scraper. Well, I just found a piece of uh, metal around here, and it's not sharp at all on this side, but on this side what I've done is taken a file to it, and if you file a piece of metal like this, what will happen is some of the metal gets pushed over the edge right here and creates a little burr and that burr is what works on that PVC see how that scrapes anyway that's how you make a scraper okay now that we have a flat area on here we need to lay out the lines and so what I want to do is just go back to another uh, flute that I've got that works really good. Slide that down out of the way. And I can just eyeball the distance across right there, there, and this front one's kind of critical so I'm going to measure it but I can get it, I can tell that I'm lined up pretty good. Uh, This one you don't want to be any further down the tube than what I've shown. Well, if you make your tube long enough, you make this hole and then you measure to the finger holes accordingly. Um, anyway, I got that marked. So what I'm going to do is just take a drill bit. Okay, I'm using a three-quarter inch drill just to make a hole to start my work with. I'm just going to put it right in the middle of that area. Now this one, it's only about a quarter inch wide, so I really want to try to get it right in the middle if I can. That's pretty close right there. Now what I've got to do is make these rectangular. You can make them round. I've done so on a lot of flutes, but you get a little better air volume if you make them square. So what you got to do is find a square file, which I happen to have one, and you just start squaring out the corners on this. Okay, I've got them a little square, but uh, I want to measure how wide this one is because this sound hole really works well. It's um, well, it's just just about a centimeter wide and six and a half millimeters deep. So I'm going to be right on the right depth on that if I just when you file these you want to try to keep your file straight so the edges of this hole are straight up and down going from the outside to the inside okay I've worked on this for about five minutes is all uh, when you use the file you're gonna get some rough edges that just don't come off if you have a small exacto knife you can reach in there with the blade of that and, and clean that up a little. This is a little too big. I need a smaller exacto knife, one of those pen knives that you can hold in your fingers. But anyway, I want to just show you the, what you do next. Um, this is the hole. You're going to blow in this end, so this is going to be where your air comes out before it crosses the sound hole. And it's going to go underneath this collar. Across that flat spot. So to make it more efficient what you want to do is angle the side of this it's 
so the air doesn't just come up straight up and then have to make a, a, a hard 90 degree bend. This way it can come out kind of a slant. That's kind of rough and uh, anyway let's just see if it makes any sound. Oh, it won't because we don't have a cork in the middle. So if you blow, it just blows straight through and, and doesn't create any sound. So you got to have a cork that fits in the middle there now. You can either cut off a section of cork that's the right length, which would be from right about there. To right behind this hole, so about right that long right there. Again, going back to my hacksaw, cork saw is really easy. This doesn't have to be exact, but you want to try to keep it straight up and down if you can. Uh, it's not very good, but now I've got to make it smaller so I can push it in there. And then, to make it smaller, you just get a, a rough rasp like this, and you can just go around it, and you can see it comes off pretty fast. I've done a few of these, so I kind of have an idea about how big around it needs to be. But it's got to be smaller than that, but not much. I'm getting close. And you want to try to keep it round, and you want to leave it just a little on the large size, so that when you push it in there, it's going to be nice and tight. getting closer to the right side so what I'm going to do is just go to a smaller a uh, little bit finer rasp and I'm just concentrating on my curve trying to keep it nice and smooth but if you make it a little big it'll fit in there yep see that's nice and tight that's good. So now you take a dowel. Yeah, you can take a dowel and push that in until it goes past this hole. You'll see it go past the hole there. And you want it to come out just to the back of this hole. And if it goes too far, you can see it push some of those shavings out on that PVC that's not smooth. But then you can reach in the other end. Except if you're making a full length flute, you're going to have to have a long dowel. Anyway, you get that position where it's just behind that hole. Now air can, now when you blow in there, air comes out this hole. And with this collar on there, the air is going to come out and go across that hole. I don't expect it to make a very good sound because my holes are really rough. And it doesn't make any sound, which might be because it's the short length of the of the tube that I'm experimenting with here. But it's probably because this hole right here is so uh, rough and uh, and unclean. So I need to clean that up a little bit.